Okay, we're back for video number four. Um, we've just concatenated and joined two strings together. Uh, what we're going to do now is we've got a sample bit of code that's going to do a reverse cipher. Um, so, as before in the previous video, um, we've got plain text as our variable and we're using the input function. Okay, and then we've got um, cipher text and this is set up. Um, as the ciphertext is actually set up as um, a blank string, so there's nothing in that at the moment at all. Um, then once we've got, so so far we've just got whatever we enter as our plain text, which will come in there, and we've got our ciphertext, which at the moment is nothing. Um, then we've got a loop, okay? Uh, and before we do our loop, what we've got to do is we've got to calculate the length of our string. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to call that n, so we're going to kind of uh, and so our, our length of our string, whatever we've typed in up here in our message, is going to become n. Uh, we're using the built-in function length, which is len, and that's going to look at the length of the plain text, so whatever we type in there, and it's going to minus 1. Okay, and the reason it's going to minus 1, because it's going to find, if we, just, if we run it first of all, and we have a look what it actually does, um, and then I'll, we can talk it through. So if, for example, I was going to enter in there, the word hello as our message. Okay, and we can see that hello is made up of one, two, three, four, five characters. So what it will do, it'll say that um, the length of plain text is five, and then it'll minus one off it, so it'll become four. And the reason for that is um, on our string, our string is our first character of a string is zero, um, so h will become zero. E is one, the first. L is 2, then 3, and then the last, um, then the O is 4. So we're actually saying that the length of our positions of our strings are 4. And then when it gets to our while loop, our while loop here is going to say while n is greater than or equal to 0, it's going to keep running the loop. Okay, so what it's going to do, it's going to run this loop until we've, until we've got um, less than 0. And the way it does that, it's going to look at the ciphertext, so it's going to rename ciphertext, so it's taken our empty string here. Um, and it's going to look at plain text, and it's going to take the, the letter. And our first letter is going to be four. Okay, so it's going to put four, the fourth character in there, which is uh, the O, and it's going to print that. And then it's going to run through the loop. And after the end of that first iteration, it's going to go through, and it's going to take one off it. So it's going to back for three, uh, and then it'll put the L, first L, and then it'll go through and put the next L. And then once it gets to the H and we've taken one off it again. Um, we've now got it, so it's now jumped out of that loop and it'll print that whole ciphertext. So let's just run it again, we'll just run it again, we'll watch it again, we'll put a, uh, a different word in this time. So we're going to run the module and it's going to ask me to enter the text and I'm going to put the word welcome and the minute I hit enter it'll run through that loop. Okay, and it's gone through backwards and put the E, the M, the O, the C, the L, E, and the W. Okay, and it's reversed it. So that's our first one we've done. All we've done now is we've done a reverse cipher.